Welcome to video five of our Unearthing Data video presentations with Dr. Brad Hagee. We will begin with step five and six, learning how to create or update your data picture and evaluate and communicate your data picture. It's time to update our data picture about COVID-19. We first looked at COVID-19 case data and population data across the United States. What we saw was that in most cases, there were higher numbers of COVID-19 cases reported in areas with higher population density. We then looked at the incidence rate and saw that there are outbreaks of COVID-19 that occurred in the United States that aren't directly linked to population density. These outbreaks occurred in places that have a lower population density than some other parts of the United States. We then created a simple model or bathtub or stock and flow model that can help us understand why NO2 concentrations decreased in some locations right around the time of the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. And this model can be used in your own exploration of the COVID-19 data. So I encourage you to understand the bathtub model so that you can use it in your later data exploration. Now that we've updated our data picture, we now communicate what we found to others. I encourage you after your investigation, after your data dig, that you record your results and show them to classmates, your family, or friends. Listen to their questions and their feedback and whether your picture of COVID-19 and the connections to the atmosphere makes sense to them. This is a really an important part of science communication. Science is not just experimenting. It is communicating your results with other scientists and the public. Feedback from other people helps you to continue to improve your data picture and gives you a starting point to do more investigations and more thorough data digs. Here are some more data sets that you can look at to continue your investigation into the connection between COVID-19 and the Earth system. Now today, we just scratched the surface. There's a lot more to learn and to understand about these important connections. So I encourage you to continue your studies and to continue your data dig. So thank you for joining us today on this very special episode of COVID-19 and its connection to the atmosphere. I thank you for joining us and I hope to see you next time on Unearthing Data.